Hello from the Bureau, here to look at the tropical low that is currently spinning up in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Over the last 24 hours, we've started to see this low become a little bit more developed, though it's still quite a broad area of low pressure. We've started to see thunderstorms develop in the outer bands and wrap a little bit more to the center. Overall, it is starting to become a little bit more organized, but it still has a lot to do before it could be classified as a tropical cyclone. The system is expected to continue to remain over open waters and track to the southeast. There is a tropical cyclone watch out for much of the Gulf, all the way from the Nullumboy and NT down to Kurumba in Queensland. These are areas where gales may develop in the next 24 to 48 hours. A large area is covered as systems are notoriously erratic in the Gulf. If it tracks just a little bit further to the west, we could see those gales affect much of the NT. A little bit further to the east though, and it could extend into parts of Queensland. The exact track it takes and time over open waters will affect its intensity as it moves towards land. But no matter how the system develops and regardless of its category, we will start to see this weather pick up through much of the northeast top end and in the coastal areas of the Gulf, with wet and windy conditions likely to occur. Having a look at some of the three-day rainfall totals we could see from Saturday through to Monday, we can see that the track of the system definitely affects where we'll see those heavier falls. You can see that the access here, which is a little bit quicker, brings a lot more of that rainfall on land. Looking at the rainfall that we could see Sunday through to Tuesday, most of the tracks have brought it much further inland and those heavier falls do extend into the Carpentaria and even Barclay districts. Due to this heavy rainfall, we could see flash flooding and riverine flooding. So a flood watch is current for most catchments along the coastal areas of the Carpentaria Gulf and across the border into Queensland. We'll be keeping a close eye on this system as it develops and moves through the Gulf. So stay up to date with the latest forecasts and warnings on our website and app, and please follow all advice from emergency services.